Shakas, aloha crafty friends, it's Maka from Maka's Home. I'm here today to share with you some cards that I've made um, with the dies and things I just received from AliExpress. If you did not get to see that haul, I will link it here. So I'm using the stitched I don't know what this die was called, but it's a frame die. It's a rectangle shaped die. I used this die here. I used a die from Spellbinders. I got this die at the last crop show I went to. And then I also used this flower die that I got from the AliExpress haul. And I am very new to ink blending and so that's the kind of background I'm going to do. And I have these three oxides that I am using. I have Twisted Citron, Cracked Pistachio, Lucky Clover, there, Lucky Clover, and I don't think the s Twisted Citra. And so, these are the colors I'm going to use for blending. And, since they're all pretty much the same family, I'm just going to use the same brush. I received this brush too off of AliExpress. I'm trying to get used to it. I don't think I like it uh, because of the way it cuts in two my hand right here when you press and apply pressure but um, I'm trying to hold it a different way maybe I just need a bigger one but here goes so I'm going to use this is the darkest to lightest so we'll start with the darkest and I just have some white cardstock that I'm using. I've cut it down to four and a quarter by five and a half and that way I can cut it down to a panel for a A2 sides card base. So, and I might need to rejuice some of these already but off then on. And just circular motions. Whoa, that's one of the things that I do often is end up bending my cardstock. So that's that one. Then we're gonna do, I might just rub it off a little on my chamois here. Then we're going to do some cracked pistachio. And as I lay the colors down, I blend it in so I don't have to go back and forth. And then the last layer is Twisted Citron. Sorry if I'm shaking you, the whole table is shaking up. So starting off again, let me just get a scratch, scratch pepper. So starting off the page and blending on.
Okay, now that you get the blending that you want. Hold on. Now that you get the blending that you want, I need to clean off my brush really quickly. And I just use my Stampin' Scrub. I've had this thing forever. And some Stampin' Mist. I clean all my rubber stamps like this. My blending brushes. And voila! Okay, so now that we have our blending down good, I do have a watercolor brush that I use just to put some splatters. And then I use my chamois, the clean side, to pick up the water. And then I don't, let me see if you can see, see the little watermarks it left. It uh, picks up the ink. The water will allow you to pick up the oxide that you put down on the paper. So let me add a few more. And this uh, water pen it says Pentel. I'm not sure where I got it. Got it from. But when you're satisfied with the amount of sprinkles you got going on. I do another layer in a different color, same color family, just to add more contrast. So I'm just picking up the color from the wet marks. And I don't know if you can see in the darker color more so than the, the lighter color, you can see the splatter marks. And then, I wonder, if I can get enough oxides off of that. Mm, no. So I'm just trying to get some color on my brush to splatter that same color. which it's not working so well. There's little spots. Mm -hmm. Let me just get a Try this here, much better. Mm. Sorry, I don't know why my dog is making noise. Hold on. Okay, so after that last splatter, you can see some um, of the colored splatter that I added. Maybe, maybe not. There's some. So I'm good with how that came out. Um, basically, I'm done. I'm going to use this frame 
cut it out uh, back my flower that I cut out of this die back that up add a sentiment add it on a a2 size card base and I'll be back to share it okay so these are my two panels I ended up with I cut them both out and this is what I got so I am going to adhere my flower center of my card I did have double sides tape when I cut that one out and I layered it twice so there's that one and then I just need to add some adhesive on the back of this one So just let those dry and then I just need a sentiment from my box of sentiment so I, I always stamp with my scraps I'll just dig into my scrap pile and just start stamping a bunch of different sentiments that I think I'm going to use a lot of thank yous, a lot of happy birthdays, and so let's see. What do I have? I have a birthday wishes. Okay. So first thing I want to cut it down to the size I'm going to use. It's fairly big. to use this one that says congratulations
here's my two sentiments. I'm going to angle this one. that I cut the flower out of originally. I don't feel like this is sticking down. that one and then I just gonna pop this on an A2 size card base oh look there's sticky stuff already let me add a little more tape Outside edge. And then peel all of these off. to my A2 sides card base and we're done. Center it here and there you go. 
so simple and easy. Let's get the other one matted to its base. Let's put the glue sticker. the tapes back and then adhere this down There's the two cards I just made with you. And here's two others that I previously made. I just added some jemmies on these, which I can't forget to do on these. I wonder how these water, I'm gonna try these water, water crystals, water spots. They're from the Stamps of Life. I believe there's three different sizes on the sheet. So that's that one. Also from the Stamps of Life, they're just enamel dots. And there's that one. So these are my cards I made. Doing the blending, I still have lots of practice. I don't have very many oxides, so I'm trying to build my collection so I can do different, different blendings. Have you ever tried Distress Oxides? Do you know that there's Distress Ink and Distress the Distress Inks and Distressed Oxides? Do you know what the difference is? I don't, I don't know. But if you're new here, welcome. If you're returning, welcome back. For more videos like these, see here. And until my next video, shakas.